when you look at what it means to live now in a highly industrialized nation, undergirding more and more infrastructure, more and more of the infrastructure of a mechanistic prior era, our roads, our electrical grids, schooling, now, they all now benefit greatly and are increasingly reliant upon connectivity. And so, yeah, like, this is an issue that undergirds and will increase in its import in undergirding pretty much every facet of our lived lives and experiences. The key decision makers are only beginning to understand exactly these kinds of stories that, that Jerry is talking about, that this is a critical infrastructure. We've labeled it, you know, for like core DOD and what have you, but we haven't acknowledge that it's critical for civil society writ large. And without it, who's not served? It's the rural, the rural, the poor, and the minority communities. Roosevelt or Eisenhower, Democrat, Republican, we've always understood that we're investing in critical infrastructure and society as a whole benefits. And those investments easily pay for themselves. It's time that we move broadband into that same category as roads, or electrical grids and, and make a major priority and investment of public money into ensuring universal affordable broadband access.